Now, as some students move into their college dorms, others are taking a different path by opting to live in a firehouse. Ron Spitzer introduces us to one program with the Brighton Fire Department giving kids an up-close look at the life of a first responder. The Brighton Fire Department's bunker program allows college students to live at the firehouse rent free in exchange for 24 hours of work per week. I didn't exactly do this because of the financial bonus entirely. It, it was obviously a nice bonus. I don't have to pay for anywhere to live, but I wanted to keep doing this even though I'm going to college for something entirely different. That's Simon Gorby, one of this year's bunker program participants. He's a student at RIT studying mechatronics engineering technology. Gorby's from Saratoga County in New York. He says there's a critical lack of volunteers in the area, which is part of the reason he's been volunteering as a firefighter for four years. Also, because a friend was doing it. There's more people, more houses, and obviously more calls going out and there's just not enough people around to always respond to it. Places like here they have people that are paid and around 24 7 they can keep up with the training and go to a lot more calls than we do. The program started in 2006 as a way to get more volunteer participation. Now to be eligible you need to be over 18 a full-time student and a trained interior firefighter. I'd say that there's not a career fire department in Monroe County that doesn't have one or two of our bunker, bunkers working there. They grow a lot from 18 to 21. Gorby isn't sure if he wants to be a career firefighter, but may pursue it part time or keep volunteering. I don't know if I am fully comfortable with the like aspect that uh, some of the firefighters have to go through, like the 24 hours on shift, and not guaranteed sleep and all that. I definitely commend everyone that does that. Reporting from Brighton, Oran Spitzer, News 8.